here, I'd like to welcome you to the Gift and Home channel and also to thank you for allowing us to be and film in your showroom today. It really was an honor to be here with you today. We'd like to thank you for coming because we've had a lot of fun. It's been great to have your team here and I think everybody's enjoyed it. It had a lot of energy and we're having a good time. We're working, but we're having fun. Well, that's important to do in the industry because sometimes it's not about the fun. It always gets to be serious. And talking about serious topics, one of the things I'd like to ask you about is sort of how you feel the state of the industry and giftware is these days, and where is it? Well, I think that there's always going to be change, and right now there's a lot of inter interesting gifts. I think we have been in a period of time where people were very interested in the home store, and now I think that they're interested in the mix of merchandise. And, um, everyone wants difference and new, and that makes things a little faster than they have been, but it kind of keeps us all doing our jobs really well, because we have to keep up with it. Absolutely, and keeping up with it is part of the growth of the industry. Where do you see the growth of the industry coming from? I think it comes from innovation. I mean, I think the people who are going to be successful in our industry are the people who are really going to look at the world they live in, try new things, move in new directions, and uh, get adjusted <laughs> to the pace, because the pace is faster. The pace is faster, and one of the things that you were talking about is trying new things. What is the role of the independent retailer right now and, and their future, and, and how do you see that? I think the role of the independent retailer is to give people a chance to see things that are unique and different and to express themselves and have their own point of view and um, to an establish a place where people can shop that it doesn't sort of have sameness. There's an awful lot of sameness in the larger stores, and I think that the independent retailer is the innovator. They're the person who comes to the market and looks at what's around, and then they should go home and make their own statement. And when they do it, they have to think about their community, you know, the people, who are their customers, and uh, a personal expression. And I think the independent retailer is that kind of creative person. I have years of experience of meeting lots of different people, and I think they do it because they love it. Well, that goes to something you said about the uniqueness and, and building on that and creating a personality. My question is, you know, how will Andrea Sadek help those independent retailers achieve that? Well, I think that we, we in our company are, are three people doing a lot of product development. This is a partnership, and I work with my brother and my sister, and we, we have our... Our challenge is to bring things to our customers that are new and fresh and different and to have a point of view, which we do. I mean, I'm showing you um, product behind me that's from our new Nautilus collection. Um, it's the, Not every customer is by the seashore, but everybody likes to have a relaxed lifestyle, a sort of summer lifestyle. And we think that having a, a summer group every year is a good idea. Um, we're also working um, very hard in the area of tea and tea drinking and uh, relaxation with a cup of tea and that's part of our new introductions for this season. So we look at what we have and what we think the marketplace needs and try to come up with new product. Well, that innovation is very, very important within the markets. And it leads me to my next question. The markets are changing all the time. What do you see the role of the markets in the future and how they can help the independent retailer? Well, I think that they have to become focused. I think that that's a very, that there's a lot of places to go and a lot of ways to shop. And I think that there, there have to be a few less markets. <laughs> and that the, the, buyer, the buyer has to be very comfortable. It has to be easy, easy on them, and there's a lot of good things happening. I think that your program, <laughs> and even we're here at America Smart, and they do a great job of helping you to plan. And we look at that. We see that this is a very user-friendly market. Um, you could, today I found in the ladies' room a customer's list of where they had to go. <laughs> And the format was something that I know is on the website. I think that's great.
I think that's the future, is making it really comfortable for people to come and work in a marketplace. Well, and one of the things you did mention, the gift channel, I, I, my question to you is, what do you think about the gift and home channel, and, and what can we do to help this process with the independent retailer? I think what you're doing is an innovation, and it's great. It's making um, our industry sort of accessible to more people, and it's giving people an opportunity to not just come and do the work, but get to know a little bit more about the philosophy behind the people who are developing the product that they're looking at. Um, just having a better sense of what people on our side are doing and what other people are doing as well. I think it's great for retailers to have a chance to see other people are doing what they're doing it and, and hear and know their approach to it. Absolutely. It is about retailers talking to retailers and helping one another. And we truly appreciate what, Andrea, you have done here, um, and Andrea by Sadak, in helping the retailer and, again, helping us here with the Gift and Home Channel today. Thank you for your time. We truly appreciate it. Thank you. It's been fun.